Peace. What's up? My name is DJ Johnny Juice. I am a DJ, producer, musician, blah, 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 from Strong Island uh, by way of the Bronx, originally from the BX, transplanted to Strong Island in the 80s, and I'm best known for my scratches and production work with the group Public Enemy. Today, we will be discussing the art of creating musical beds and scratch arrangements that best serve the song. So you've probably seen tutorials about how to do a myriad of scratches from the transformer all the way up to open click uh, scratches like flares and orbits and boomerangs and and you name it. This particular um, episode, it's not so much about the type of scratch, but more of the feel, the rhythm, the uh, ability to uh, create beds of scratches that serve the track and that add some kind of flavor. Um, sometimes less is more. Sometimes you don't need a whole bunch of wild scratching to get, you know, the crowd hype. DJ Premier is a perfect example of it where less is more. Uh, he does real simple scratches on some songs like the Ten Crack Commandments. One, two, three, four, Oh, or even like Dwick, where he just kind of just so. Let's start with some ideas. The first idea would be something like this. Go off, Terminator. Go off. It says Terminator. Go off. Right. So that makes sense, right? Terminator. Go off. Now I can do this. That's too much. That's too much. Or too many things happening. Now, there's nothing wrong with a lot of things happening, but in this particular case, it sounds cluttered. It sounds like there's too many, too many, too much of the same element happening, and it's just sometimes it's showing off just for showing off sake instead of making the you know these these elements that come together to make you say, oh wow, how did that happen? So what we do is. Let's 